Hey guys, Thunder E here, and welcome to another battle vid. Now, this one is between the $350 Pixel 4a versus the $400 OnePlus Nord to find out which Android smartphone is the best at, of course, a budget price point. Now, there is a variant of the uh, OnePlus Nord that's $335. In India, six gigs of RAMs, you know, that kind of thing. But we're gonna go, and again, that's just be special or limited edition, so a limited run. Let's just go with the front round bottom. Anyway, let's start off with the specs of the Pixel 4a. 4a is 5.8 inches OLED display, lovely looking display, 1080p. I like the fact that it's got, you know, nice bezels around, a little thicker than the bottom, but I'm cool with that. Always on display, HDR display as well, but it's powered by the Snapdragon 730 processor little older processor, you've got uh, no SD card slot, and you also have six gigs of RAM, 120 gigabytes of storage. That's it, UFS 2.1. Now there's a single camera in the back, 12 megapixels with a flash, and the front facing camera is eight megapixels. 4K 30 in the back, 1080p 60 in the front, or 1080 120 actually, max in the front. So you've got that. You also have stereo speakers as well, and you have a 3,140 milliamp battery. So a sizable battery in this bad boy here. So besides the battery, you've also got charging at 18 watts with an 18 watt charge of a USB type C and the headphone jack as well. So all those things to boot. Now moving over to our friends with the OnePlus Nord. Now the OnePlus Nord comes in with 6.44 inch display. Now it's, uh, its display is nice, 1080p, HDR10+, 90 hertz refresh rate. Again, for gamers like us, we care about that. Powered by the Snapdragon 765 processor, we also have six to 12 gigs of RAM, and we've got 128 to 256 gigabytes of storage. In terms of cameras, we've got a 48, an eight, a five, and a two. So four cameras at the back, two cameras in the front, a 32 and an eight. It's got an ultra wide, it's got a wide angle lens in the front as well. So you've got that, and you've got recording 4K 60 in the front, 4K 30 at the back. So that is just something to take note there. Now in terms of uh, battery, we've got a 4,150 milliamp battery, and we've got fast charging Warp 30 Charge T on this device. So when you talk about performance, easiest way to do is just let's look at some games. We're gonna look at Call of Duty, PUBG, and Fortnite to see how both devices perform. Quickly, we'll show you some settings and also the kind of performance we get from both devices. Cover me! 
First thing you know, Call of Duty Mobile plays well on almost any device, so that's a given. I just wanted to use it as a baseline. And then when we move over to uh, PUBG Mobile, uh, we do know a 765 processor can actually play at higher set, uh, set settings, but that's not available yet for uh, the OnePlus Nord. But both of them had similar settings for, of course, gameplay. But when it came to Fortnite, Fortnite ran at uh, 45 frames per second on the OnePlus Nord at the highest settings, while on the Pixel 4a, uh, it ran at uh, 30 frames per second at medium to low settings. So if you're gonna look for the best gaming experience, the OnePlus Nord is gonna be that device for you. And also in terms of temperatures, the OnePlus Nord ran definitely cooler than the Pixel 4a, which ran temperatures as up to 104 degrees or 41 degrees Celsius. So very warm in that respect. Now, we heard audio from both devices, Let's take a quick speaker test and we'll see with my very unscientific test who's louder and also who actually sounds better. So surprisingly, the OnePlus Nord hits about 107.8 decibels. That's pretty loud. Uh, and the Pixel 4a does 102.5 decibels, which is good, really good. But which one actually sounds better? I would have to go with the Pixel 4a with its stereo speakers, sounding much cleaner and clearer than the OnePlus Nord, which was just loud and you couldn't tell which were the highs or even the mids with that song uh, playing. With the Pixel 4a, you could hear the different ranging tones and that's something to take note. So audio-wise, speakers, Pixel 4a+, Plus, you've got Bluetooth 5.0 and you've got a headphone jack. So at least it's a triple threat when you think about listening to audio on this device. Now, when it comes to battery life, that is something we're all concerned about with devices like this. And as I mentioned, the Pixel 4a has a 3,140 milliamp battery, while the OnePlus Nord has a 4,150 milliamp battery, a bigger battery, also a bigger device. Uh, when we look at how long they last, well, I'm gonna just uh, hand it over to my buddy, um, the Unlocker, who did his, of course, all the uh, battery tests with both devices. You can go check out the full videos. But from his findings, we find out that the Pixel 4a ends at 10.18 p.m. at 16%, while the OnePlus Nord ends at 10.17 at 17%. So around the same, and they last pretty much uh, at least a good 12 hours or so for a working day. But the difference here is that 17% of battery left on 4100 milliamps is more than 16% left on a 3100 milliamp battery. So the longer battery life will go, of course, to the OnePlus Nord. Now, cameras, the big thing, at least for the Pixel 4a. The Pixel 4a is known for its cameras. Uh, the, the Pixel 3a line uh, started this, the Pixel 2a line, uh, and the 4a continues that tradition. But the OnePlus Nord is no slouch as well. We've seen in other videos. Uh, when you compare them in daytime photos, looking at the flowers and things like that, they look really similar. The bokeh effects will look really nice. Uh, I will say when it comes to humans, you're looking at the bokeh effects, I think the Pixel is a little bit better uh, around humans with a front-facing camera there. And I do like the reclamation of light that the OnePlus Nord does, especially standing under the umbrella, where the pixel is much darker and the OnePlus Nord is, is, is brighter. But when it goes to nighttime photography, this is where the Pixel 4a really shines. Uh, the low light photography looks really good. There's more uh, light reclamation around the objects. You can clearly see, um, you know, the, the benches and things around much better than the OnePlus Nord. The OnePlus Nord does a decent job, but the Pixel 4a looks more like a high-end device, or at least looks more than $350 worth of photography here. So that point is clear. Now, when it comes to video, I'll just let you take a look. Okay, so I'm recording off the front-facing cameras on both devices, on the Pixel 4a, and of course, the OnePlus Nord. Uh, so you can see how they do. Uh, one records at 4K60, which is the OnePlus Nord, and the other records at 1080 So I believe 1080 but anyway. Uh, so you have that, and then we will switch to the rear cameras. Now, both rear cameras shoot at 4K30, and just a glimpse of the city there, you can see the sun, 
in mode shots and of course we've been switching audio for you um, I am going to walk around a little bit then I'll jog back just for a quick stabilization uh, and also two notes the OnePlus Nord has a um, uh, super steady mode so you have that there with the Nord uh, and uh, we will uh, do a, just a light jog boom, 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 boom. So with video, we can see that the Pixel 4a front-facing camera still doesn't hit the mark. It's softer, uh, and the OnePlus Nord does a really good job there. Rear cameras, I think they're almost about the same, better, slightly better stabilization to me on the Pixel 4a. And of course, the OnePlus Nord has super steady mode, which is affected by, of course, reduced uh, lighting, but it does have that feature built in. I think when you look at both devices overall, you're going to go... If you're looking for more gaming and maybe longer battery life, the OnePlus Nord is that device for you. If you're looking for photography, quick and easy and simple, and also looking for the backup of Google services, uh, as well as also uh, Google's software features, then the Pixel 4a is that device for you. I think what you have here is a separation of functionality where the Pixel 4a really focuses on simplicity in photography and giving you an all-day battery life experience, while the OnePlus Nord is trying to bring some of the high-end experience all encompassing into a device that is much cheaper and has successfully done that. So on one hand, you've got photography. On another hand, you've got uh, all-round performance. Let me know what you think. Which would you pick, the Pixel 4a or the OnePlus Nord? Leave your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.